This study was to look at if we could predict a lightning sturgeon habitat and occurrence using satellite data and uh, autonomous underwater vehicles. So we tagged a bunch of uh, Atlantic sturgeon with, in co collaboration with Delaware State University and looked at the results where those sturgeon were found and compared them to the data we were getting from the satellite feeds as well as uh, send an underwater vehicle out to look for these sturgeon as well. What we found was we were able to use a satellite ocean color product that was developed by my advisor, Matt Oliver, that divided the ocean into seascapes as similar to what we uh, how do we divide the land and the landscapes like forests and mountains and deserts and things like that. Um, we were able to do this in the ocean and be able to map Atlantic sturgeon occurrence uh, pretty accurately. So sturgeon became enlisted as an endangered species in 2012. Um, so with that comes a whole bunch of laws and regulations, um, mainly that affect commercial fisheries. And so if we can get the, uh, tell the commercial fishermen where the Atlantic sturgeon are, they can uh, change their habits and change uh, their behavior to avoid sturgeon while still being able to catch um, the species that they're targeting.